Earlier this morning, Jack Curry had a chance to sit down with Yankees owner Hal Steinbrenner and talk to him on his brand new podcast, Yankees News and Views. It's available now, Spotify, Apple, and the Yes app as well. So go check it out. But one of the reporters talking to Soto had had one of the questions about one of Jack's questions that Hal asked Hal Steinbrenner. Let's listen to Juan Soto answer that. One, Hal Steinbrenner said today on a podcast that he, he would like you to be a Yankee for life and, and talked about potentially in-season talks. What's your reaction to that? And, and is that something you would be open to talking in-season about a contract? I mean, uh, my doors has been always open, you know. Uh, whenever he want to start talking with Scott and all those people, they they always open. They always uh, open to hear whatever he has. And for me, I just focus on the game right now. Did that make you happy hearing that? Uh, is that surprising at all? I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's really nice to see owners and GMs talking about the woman in their teams uh, for a whole life. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm focusing on this year and what we want to do in this year and how much uh, games we want to win and how far we, we want to go. On how would you say you've settled in so far in New York between the city, the team obviously playing well, but the all-around product it's been pretty nice it's been pretty cool uh, fan base it's, it's been amazing it's been I mean not only New York they've been all over uh, every stadium we go and everything I mean you can hear it uh, George Doogie can tell you they, they go crazy everywhere we go and so I think the fan base has been unbelievable I mean New York feels great and you know it's a lot of uh, culture a lot of uh, Hispanic culture and everything but I've been feeling good so far in the stadium and, and the clubhouse and everything. It's been very good. I think you said not too long ago that it's too soon to know if you want to be somewhere a long time. Uh, do you need a full season or um, if the money's right, you consider it? What's your thoughts on that? I mean, for me, you always got to you always got to know uh, about the team and how everything's going to work, you know. Um, it's going to be up and down throughout the season, and you want to know all the part, how everything is going to react and things like that, you know. Uh, so I think, yes, it's going to be, it's going to take a full season to see and to really feel settled in and feel comfortable in a spot. Juan, what's different here compared to the other two organizations that you've played for? Is there one thing that stands out as being different, being a Yankee? I think the only thing I would say is the fan base. It's just a massive fan base. I think is way bigger than the both things I've been I've been in on. You know, I mean, San, um, Washington have a great fan base. San Diego have a huge fan base. But I think here it's just it's just been great. I mean, it's just massive uh, fan base. I think that's the biggest difference from here. When you say it would take a four year to know. Does that mean that you'd be unlikely to work out something right during the season and it uh, just would be willing to have talks? Or what, what's your thought on maybe possibly getting a deal done? Like I said before, again, I mean, my doors is always open. Uh, if they want to call Scott and start talking about it, uh, it's, it's up to them. Uh, it's got to, they, they know the phone number and everything. They can they know where to call. For me right here, it's just I, I'm focusing on playing baseball. I, my thing is try to help the team to win as much games as we can and and try to focus on winning a championship. And I think that's what he wanted me to do at the end of the day, just focus on playing baseball and try to win games. But if he want to talk about it, he can call Scott. It's your call, Thank you, right? Huh? It's your call, though. Yeah, at the end of the day, but... Definitely, he's going to be the guy who's been pulling for me and tried to do stuff like that. Thank you. All right, Jack, so your podcast, Yankee News and Views, making news today with Juan Soto, and he was just peppered there with questions about staying a Yankee. Yeah, and he said his door is always open, which, of course, is very encouraging for the Yankees to hear, very encouraging for Hal Steinbrenner to hear in the Yankee fan base. And as I listen to that and think about all that Juan Soto has accomplished in his career, you're listening to a very mature, a very centered, and a very intelligent baseball player who knows that at some point in the future, he is going to sign a massive contract. He talked about the Yankees' massive fan base. Soto's got a massive contract in his future. And the Yankees, through their owner, Hal Steinbrenner, are saying they'd love for that contract to be signed 
while he's wearing a Yankee uniform. I think there's a good chance, based on what Hal Steinbrenner said, what Scott Boris followed up with saying, and what Soto said right there, that there could be conversations during the season. But Soto's also smart enough to talk about focusing on baseball, because that really is why he is here. And when he focuses on baseball, the contract will eventually come. But a day to remember that he's here for 24, but the Yankees would really love to see that extended by several years.